MakingYourBowsNow.com presents Circle of Love. This adorable Christmas wreath can be used in the hair, can be used on a Christmas tree, or just make a pin out of it. I have three different sizes. This mini one for a small infant would just be adorable. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and you'll be able to get notice of all the new tutorials when they come out. This is the one we're going to be making right here with this green glitter ribbon. And I'll show you how to braid it. Make sure you go to the website and get three free hair bow tutorials. They're awful cute. You're going to want them. Okay, start with your three different, uh, you're going to have three different lengths. The short one goes in the middle uh, for dimensions and for the pattern. Make sure you go to the link below and uh, once you've glued them together, the short one goes in the center, we're going to start to tie and braid this. So you start with the left side, left goes over the top, right goes underneath and up through the hole. If any of you guys have ever done macrame, you'll remember this knot. And then you reverse it, so now it's the right side's turn. So the right side goes over. Because this has got a wrong on the right side with my ribbon, I'm going to go kind of slow to keep the glitter side up and up through the hole. You can see how it's kind of almost like a figure four there but you just bring it across the center ribbon the center ribbon always stays set it never moves so now we'll go back to the left side over the top and the other side goes on the top and up through into the hole so here we go thread it up into that big hole you got going right there and i'm going really slow to make sure i keep my glitter ribbon with the face up because i want as much of that to show as possible do not pull these too tight because you want that weave to show um, um, that's where the beauty of this is going to be at. Again, over the top and thread it up through the hole. You can see how easy that knot is. And the central one always just stays there just like it is. So keep on going until you have the whole thing done. And then you're going to pull it down. Pull it down to stretch it out a little bit because you want those braids to show. You don't want it super tight. So pull it all the way down. And now it's time to glue it. And again, these patterns are all available. Uh, these PDFs for download at the links below with measurements and these wreath patterns. This is stiff felt, so you have a good backing. Not regular felt, stiff felt. You buy it right by the other regular craft felt. And so, again, you're just going to hot glue this all the way around. And if you have to undo a few knots, go ahead and undo it. And it's going to meet at the top. So start with your hot glue right along the center. This is just low temperature hot glue. That way I don't burn myself so bad. Work it all the way around, right in the center. Clear up to the side. Again, undo a few knots if you need to. And I like to leave it kind of flat because I I want it flat where I'm going to be putting my bow. So I'm going to trim it so that it'll just lap over the side. Uh, reheat seal the end so it won't fray before you start. And also at this part, just hit it with a little flame and that way they won't fray again. And just make it look good. Fold it over the top of itself and just hot glue it on there. Now if you're using a wider ribbon like this red and green ribbon, you may have to fold it over on the back a little bit. I'll show you how to do that in just a sec. So again, just trim it off. And now for your bow. I'm using a pink kind of really really thin glitter ribbon here and you're just going to go back and forth three different times and you'll have a piece of wire cut 26 gauge wire and wrap it around the center if you lose your grip you can always start over so don't worry about it and pull it around this is the I think the hardest part of making the whole bow is right here just holding that pinch really really tight and then just cinch it down twist 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 cinch it down and then trim it right down to the base of the wire push it flat and hot glue it on and I've added some little beads here with E6000 adhesive because it's so much easier to use than the hot glue you don't get it everywhere just with a pin and look how adorable it looks you can use it with beads or without either way it's pretty dang cute and this one I use bead trim for the bow and it's one and a half inch ribbon one side's uh, red one side's green and because it's so wide you may have to wrap it to the back and then just kind of trim it up so it so uh that you so it'll still look good now you can use a pin here pin backing with e6000 hot glue it'll just pull off really easy so i like to use something more sturdy for the hair i just take a little felt heart and i'm going to glue it on three sides and then it makes a spot in the center for the alligator clip to slide through and this is so cute above a ponytail uh, or for a pin for an adult either way and i have three different sizes uh the pink one's for a small child uh, like an infant and the bigger one would be for a bigger child and isn't that cute with the bead um, 
I like the bead trim too as well. Very eye-catching. Make ornaments for your Christmas tree as well. Here's the mini one. But look at that braid. It creates a lot of texture and a fun, fun, fun Christmas activity. Give this li a like below and make sure you subscribe to my channel and make these adorable wreaths and send me a picture. Let me know how they turn out. And make sure you go to the website and get three free tutorials for hair bulbs. They're really cuties. You're going to want to make sure and use those. Have a Merry Christmas and enjoy crafting for the year.